Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This is a Python top tips tutorial. Today's Python tip, uh, top tips tutorial is yield keyword in Python. And you will learn about yield uh, statements and also the difference between yield and return statements and how you, you are going to implement yield statement in Python. So, what is yield py, uh, in Python? Yield keyword in Python is similar to a return statement used for returning values or objects in Python. As you know, uh, to return values of the function uh, is uh, a return statement. So it's going to return the values of that uh, function uh, or the function body. Uh, and instead of uh, uh, return, we, we also use yield keyword in Python to so, uh, similarly uh, return the objects in Python function, in Python function. However, there is a slight uh, difference between yield and uh, uh, return statements. They both use to return values of the function. But the difference between yield and return statements are the yield statement returns a generator object to the one who calls the function, which contains yield object, and instead of simply returning a value. So the difference between yield and return statement is yield just return the generator object, but a return statement going to return the values of uh, the uh, function. So when you, when you call the function, just uh, that's a return statement going to return the values which is defined in that function. So th this is the main difference between yield and a return statement. How we can demonstrate uh, the working principles of yield keyword in Python. So we are going to define a uh, yield generator just we call the function yield generator function and we're going to just uh, uh, yield the object or the generator the, the yield going to generate the object for that function so this is a function that's going to filter even numbers from uh, that uh, this takes parameter numbers for every number in a range of numbers when you when you put for example 10 just uh, iterative over uh, from one up to zero, uh, one up, uh, zero up to 10. So if uh, that number for every number in the range of uh, 10, uh, uh, if the number modulus two is equal to zero, that's going to yield the number. Else it, going, uh, it doesn't return the or yield the number, not return the value. It's going to yield the generator, just generate the generator objects uh, using yield statement keyword. Now, uh, so inside a program, when you, when you call a function, this uh, filter even function, that has a yield statement as soon as a yield is encountered and the execution of the function stops, and returns an object of the generator to the function caller. Just uh, when you, this is a, a generator function, when you call this generator function, uh, uh, because this uh, filter even function has a yield a statement, which is going to generate a generator object and uh, automatically, uh, or uh, as soon as the function is called, the yield object is encountered and the execution of the function stops and returns an object of the generator to the function caller. So we will see that uh, in simpler words, the yield keyword, this yield keyword instead of a return, when, when you define a return here, it's going to return every single number or value from that uh, uh, function. But yield is going to generate object uh, for all the numbers uh, by uh, just defining yield instead of uh, return. 
So in simpler words, the yield keyword will convert an expression, uh, just uh, convert an expression, this expression that is specified along with it to a generator object and it's going to return it to the color function, color function. And hence, if uh, you wanted to get the values stored inside the generator, so uh, when you call this, uh, it's going to generate, an, uh, for example, let's try to check this and uh, even numbers. So this is a generator object filter uh, function. When you call this function, it's going to automatically, as soon as the generator, the yield is uh, executed, uh, or encounter, then the execution of the function uh, stops and returns an object of the generator uh, to the function caller. So if you wanted to get the values stored inside the generator object, because every uh, even numbers from this function going to store in the generator object, in the generator object, and we are going to just uh, uh, filter the numbers, even numbers, or list of even numbers or whatever, each numbers from this uh, uh, yield generator object uh, by iterating over this uh, yield object. So, uh, so how can we iterate over? We can just define a for loop for every i in even numbers. This is a generator and we are going to just print i. So the even number from, uh, so because we assign, we pass uh, to any as an argument to the function, the filter even, and it's going to generate the even numbers from uh, zero up to 20. Zero up to nine, two, four, six, eight, and so on. So this uh, iterate, and uh, another way in Python gener uh, generator function that instead of returning a single value, so, if you uh, put a return here, it's going to return a single value, not uh, just a storing each number into yield object instead of uh, returning uh, each uh, single value. Uh, so yield uh, is better, especially if you are working on uh, large data. So it's going to just store all the data that you want to re return as an object, yield object, and it, it, you can just iteratively uh, retrieve the words from yield objects. Uh, you can also access uh, or read the values returned from the yield, the generator function stored inside the a generator object one by one using a simple loop like this. And another way to just return the yield is you can use list and pass the generator object to the list function numbers. This is uh, just returning all even numbers as a list. And another way to return is using next print next function even numbers. So the first from the yield is zero. And what about the next? When you print next again, even numbers, it, it returns the next number and so on. You can just, but this way of returning is not a good experience. So you can simply use list function or you can uh, use loop to iteratively uh, return the object or you can also use list compression list compression i for i in even numbers okay So you can check, yeah. So uh, best uh, way to just convert the 
yield objects is using lists or for loop. Next is not a good experience. So this is uh, today's uh, Python top tip uh, tutorial. So you can stay with me and uh, learn a lot about uh, Python programming. Thanks for watching. Today.